So if you're in the woods and you don't know where to go, start walking. You gotta start walking because the perspective's not gonna change. You have to start moving forward. You have to tar- start taking steps in order to improve your vision, improve your perspective, change your perspective, make some kind of progress. And worst case scenario, you figure out that you walked the wrong direction. Okay, now you can go walk in the other direction. And that's, that's gonna be fine. But standing there lost and not doing anything is just waiting to die, waiting to starve to death. Don't let that happen. When you're suffering or you're lazy or you're procrastinating, doing something that's harder than the state that you're in bounces you back yes. much faster. Yes. This is all based in the dynamics of dopamine. It, it's sort of crazy. If, you know how people are procrastinating to write something or do something and they start cleaning the house? Yeah. Something they normally don't want to do. Well, it's just something that's easier than the thing that you're supposed to do. Right. It turns out, and I learned this from Anna, if you do something that's even harder than the thing that you're trying to avoid, all of a sudden you're able to do that. And you're like, oh, okay, well, it's just psychology, right? No, it's not psychology alone. It's psychology, but it's the, once dopamine is deployed at that level, you're a different person. People don't ever get to see behind the curtains of what happens. They just see the show in front. Behind the curtains, there's a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot of focus, there's a lot of determination, there's a lot of walking away from folks, there's a lot of holding your tongue and turning the other cheek, there's a whole lot of that going on. And that ain't gonna stop. Because that's who God called. God called us collect, you know that, right? And we accepted the charges. There you go. All right? So we we, we, we got we got to pay for that. Because he called us collect and we accepted those charges. Man, you're going to get what's coming to you. Mm-hmm. You're going to get what's for you, man. You don't have to want what anybody else has. Right. You don't have to envy it, be mad about it, wish for it. What God got for you, you're going to get it. Now, you might can prolong it. Trying to orchestrate and control the situation and the narrative on your own. Mm-hmm. But I feel as if what's destined for me, the creator going to give it to me. But rejection may be a part of that. There's a story in the Bible where Solomon uh, is dreaming. He goes into dream state and God comes to him in dream state. And he says, God says to Solomon, anything that you want, I will give you. If you want wealth, I'll give you wealth. I'll make you the richest man. If you want kingdoms, I'll give you the kingdoms. Tell me whatever it is that you want and I'll give it to you. And Solomon didn't ask for riches, didn't ask for kingdoms. He asked for one thing. He said, give me wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. And after that, the riches came, the kingdoms came, and every other thing that comes with it. So as I read that, I sat there and I was like, God, give me wisdom. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what this means, but give me wisdom and allow me to be a person that makes decisions, not out of spontaneity, not out of reactiveness or out of emotion, but out of a state of mind in which I can be wise. And from that, everything else will come. So my relationship with God is now a pursuit of truth and a pursuit of wisdom. I've never seen anyone not be able to progress if they made the task small enough. But, you know, that can be pretty humiliating. Now, the upside is that once you take that first step, you look the beast in the face and you'll start progressing, not linearly, but exponentially in speed. So what's cool is that it doesn't really matter how small that first step is because it'll start doubling and anything that doubles grows unbelievably quickly. And so that's a very useful thing to know too. And that, that's true when you're learning anything new. It's like, you, you'll feel like an imposter, you'll feel like a fool, because you are, and you'll think, I'll never get there, and, and it might the destination might look very distant, but if you take a sufficiently small first step and get the ball rolling, you can be cruising along at a pretty good rate 